the last 30 years that I've been working in machine learning and data science, I have worked both at big tech companies like Yahoo Labs and Amazon, both in India and the US. And I've also built two startups from ground up. So I've interviewed hundreds of people, both working professional with tens of years of experience, as well as fresh graduate students from some of the world's top universities, the top five universities in the US and the top five universities in India. So I've seen the whole cycle a few times. For any recruiter for, or any hiring manager at any top company, when they go to a campus, these are some of the things that they look at. First thing, this is probably the most important. Imagine if I'm going to a top university, let's say an IIT or a Stanford. I take along with me a few of my teammates. So we end up spending a day or two at the campus. What we expect is our hit rate, which means the number of people, the number of graduates that we can hire from the campus should be fairly high for the time that we are putting in. Imagine I go to a campus and I don't even get a single hire. It's waste of my whole team's time, energy and resources. On the other hand, if I go to a campus and imagine I have five positions in my team and if I can hire five good machine learning people or five good software engineers, I will come back to you again. Right? This is very, very important. So typically, most of the top companies go to very selective universities because they have very scarce amount of time. They can't spend a lot of time hiring freshers. So they go to the top universities where they're guaranteed that they will get good candidates. And for the time that they're spending on the campus for hiring, they're guaranteed to get good candidates. Second, this is very, very important. The college culture and the engagement from the students also matters. I'll give you an example. If you take IIIT campuses in India, especially IIIT in Hyderabad, they have a phenomenal coding culture. And that's why a lot of their graduates get hired at top tech companies as software engineers. At the same time, that alone is not sufficient, to be very frank with you. I've been to campuses like Stanford, Berkeley, MIT, Carnegie Mellon, etc. Some of the students, some of the brightest students there actually bring the work that they have done. They bring the apps that they've built. They build, I mean, I've seen people bring their mobile apps. I've built, I've seen people build their, bring their robots to the interviews because they want to showcase their work. So as an interviewer or a hiring manager, when I go to a campus, I want to see the projects that the students have built. They should not be trivial course projects. They have to be comprehensive. They have to be cutting edge and they have to be, uh, they have to be reasonably big enough. At the same time, we also look at college culture in the sense of, hey, do you have, let's say, a, a, an AI lab or some courses in AI that you've built something with? Of course, the coding culture also plays a very, very important role for a lot of hiring. The third most important factor is the performance of the past hires. For example, imagine I go to a campus, let's say IIT Bombay, and we hire 10 people. Now, if those people have performed very well in my company over the last few years, then I tend to go back to the same campus because I'm guaranteed to get same level of candidates. This is very, very important. Of course, there are other considerations like geographic proximity. Imagine I have two campuses. Imagine I'm in Bangalore. So imagine my company has an office in Bangalore and I have a top university in Bengaluru. And let's assume I have another university, let's say in Kanpur. Of course, I can always travel to Kanpur and get some good candidates. But I tend to prefer people who are closer because they can even come for internships while staying in their hostel campus. It becomes much more easy for me to interact with the university or interact with the college if they're in the geographic proximity. Even though both these universities, one in Bengaluru, one in Kanpur, may be equally good. Right? Of course, if, if the university in Kanpur is better, obviously it has a better chance. But everything else being equal, geography does play an important role. That's why you see a lot of tech companies in Silicon Valley hiring from Stanford and Berkeley because they're right next door. Now, Let's look at Scalar School of Technology from an employer's lens. Imagine I'm a hiring manager and I want to hire a team of scientists or engineers. Now, Scalar School of Technology is very, very selective. We select about 1% of people who apply and we select holistically. We look for people who have good aptitude. We look for people who are good at math, who can learn things and who have the right attitude. So it's not just attitude, it's aptitude plus at attitude that we take care of. And with all of our relationships with 900 plus recruiting partners that we have, there is a track record of people that have been hired from the Scalar's ecosystem. And companies know that people who come from Scalar, whom they hire, have performed very well in the past. So they wouldn't even blink an eye if they have to come to Scalar School of Technology. 
which is a four year program, not a one year program like our scalers, other programs where they know that we have taught these people and these people have built things, the cultural part of it, which is, hey, do we have coding contests? Have you, do you have these labs or innovation labs or hobbies? And what are the stuff that people have built? Imagine to an interview, you take the projects that you've built, concrete, comprehensive projects, along with all the skills that you have. I mean, nothing beats that. Obviously, in terms of geography, since Scala School of Tech is based in the heart of Silicon Valley of India, which is Bengaluru, it has its own advantages. So I hope this gives you a comprehensive view on how Scala School of Technology will be perceived from the employer's lens. Again, if I were an employer, let's assume I'm working at Amazon or Google today, I would love to interview people from Scala School of Technology, given that, given the work that they've done, given the projects that they've built, given that they're right next door to me, because most of these companies have offices in Bengaluru. It's just a drive away for me to go and interview these people, right? So all these things play an important role, especially from an employer's lens. I hope this gives you an idea on why employers would love to hire from Scala School of Tech when our students graduate.